One ounce of purple opal, two ounces of fisherman's friend, and a half ounce of Alabama Kush. <laughs> <laughs> another one of your faves, South Park. But before we get into it, if you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Dr. Jordan Wagner. I'm an ER doctor. If you enjoy the educational reaction videos and other stuff you see here on this channel, please smash that subscribe button and turn your bell notifications on. That way you learn when I post a new video. All right, let's dive right in. So can I get a referral from you? For what? Medicinal marijuana. There's a shop that opened in the old KFC and they said I needed a doctor's referral to buy weed. Back in the day, a doctor used to have to write a medical marijuana card to use it for medicinal uses. Medicinal meaning like medication. That's why now in a lot of states in the United States, you don't need a script to go get marijuana at a dispensary. You have to be over the age of 21. So it's almost like buying alcohol in the United States. Medicinal marijuana is for people who aren't healthy. No. AIDS patients, cancer patients, you know, people going through chemo. The THC helps them eat and take the pain. Well, true. But it was also really good for like nausea as well for cancer patients or HIV patients. People could also use it for anxiety, chronic pain. There's a lot more uses now. Well, so doctor, how do most people get cancer? Well, there's a lot of ways you can get cancer. Yeah, but what's the quickest way? Cancer in general is not something to joke about, not to get so you can get secondary gain of getting marijuana or pain pills or anything like that. Testicular cancer. No. Linked to exposure to high doses of radiation. This is horrible. There are so many ways that we don't even totally understand environmentally, food that increases your risk for cancer. So why the heck would you then knowingly do something to increase your risk for cancer for marijuana? Like, come on. Oh my god. Mr. Marsh, I'm afraid that the test came back positive. You do have testicular cancer. Now can I finally get my prescription, please? One ounce of purple orpal, oh. two ounces of fisherman's <laughs> friend, and a half Holy cow. Bama Kush. That is horrible. This doesn't happen in real life, but it's a funny depiction of what could happen. Typically, if you do have testicular cancer and you're getting nodules on your testicles, you should, as somebody who has testicles, palpate them to see if there's any nodularity or irregularity to them. And then if there is, you need to be seen by a physician. They'll get ultrasounds or do other testing, but they typically do not get melon size where you have to carry them in a wheelbarrow. He's very lucky you got him here when you did. He was in a very advanced state of vaginitis. Vaginitis occurs in somebody who has a vagina and it's basically inflammation of the tissue around the vagina and on the inside too. Vaginitis? What? It occurs when a person stops eating meat. Those sores on his skin were actually small vaginas. If we hadn't stopped it in time, Stan would have eventually just become one great big giant Whoa, dude. Whoa, 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 what the? Sometimes you can get vaginitis if you have multiple partners or if you have new sexual partners and easily treated. Not this whole stop eating meat kind of thing. Not cool and it just doesn't go everywhere on your body like that. We've got an IV of pure beef blood pumping into Stan's veins and the sores are fading. Pure beef blood? No. If you're actually getting some other animal's blood, there's a chance that you can actually have an allergic reaction or your body's gonna reject it. So you gotta be very careful. Treatment for vaginitis, depending on potentially the source, it could be an antifungal or an antibacterial medication. Thank God we stopped it in time. Well, I guess we learned something today. It's wrong to eat veal because the animals are so horribly mistreated. But if you don't eat meat at all, you break out in vaginas. Hey, hey. <laughs> Sorry for all the vegetarians and vegans out there. This is horrible. I don't think you're ever gonna get vaginitis on your face or your body or turn into a big vagina if you don't eat meat. You can get your source of protein through many different avenues. Wherever you wanna get your protein source from, that's where you get it. No judgment. What is it exactly you're trying to do? Just, you know, make some money off them. Like Honey Boo Boo. Honey Boo Boo? Who's Honey Boo Boo? Honey Boo Boo's heart gave out. Oh. My name's Honey Boo Boo and I'm oh. a beauty queen, bitches! Only six and I've already had three heart what? attacks! Oh my gosh! Staying alive, staying alive. Dun, dun. See, it works with the CPR. So a heart attack is a blocked blood vessel that causes decreased blood flow to a certain part of your heart that doesn't pump well. A heart attack can lead into a cardiac arrest, but there are other major causes for a cardiac arrest where you would actually have to do CPR on somebody. Well, the doctor said Honey Boo Boo needs a heart transplant. Six year old with a heart transplant? They're going to do a surgery and put a pig heart in her, so we're going to the ranch to pick out a hog. Honey Boo Boo is gonna do pageants what? with a pig heart. We wanna pick a hog that has pizzazz oh and knows how to work it, girl. I want that! 
that one. I don't know about you. If my heart were to not work anymore, I think I'd rather have a human heart than a pig heart just because it's the same species. Research has shown that you can actually transplant a pig heart into a human heart and have it function. I just hope when she does her pageants, the judges don't take away points because she's got a pig heart. Yes, we use pig valves. We can use a prosthetic heart. You use another human's heart. There are different things you can use. The surgery is quite complicated. Honey, boo boo! What? What are you gonna tell them judges <laughs> if they ask you about your heart? I'm gonna tell them my heart is sweeter than bacon, child. Oh my gosh. You wouldn't be able to be awake during the surgery, right? You'd be out cold, intubated, sedated with IV medications as well as gases. And as her mom wouldn't be in the operating room either. And now I see her crawling around on the ground. Pig heart now, she thinks. And acting like a pig. Show him your oh scar. This. This is my scar, cause I got a pig heart. My scar makes me sassy, child. We call that your a zipper, basically, where you have to cut through the skin, the sternum, open up the ribs, get to your heart because it's protected really well. And then to actually close it up, you actually use chicken wire. But no, would you have this reaction by getting an organ from another species? No, you wouldn't start behaving like that. <laughs> Kyle? Oh. They say Kyle's not doing well. Kyle always has been a diabetic and lately his kidneys have just been shutting down. If your sugar is totally under control as a diabetic, you're not going to have any peripheral neuropathy, kidney injuries, heart injuries, nothing like that. You're just living your life. But if your sugars are out of control, crazy high, they start like causing nerve damage, kidney damage. You need to control your blood sugars as best you can because when you do that, you live a long, fruitful life. Have you tried holistic natural medicines? They work wonders. I read all about it in people. Really? In people? There's a brand oh, new geez. shop in town that sells holistic medicines and all natural foods. It's run by this fascinating woman named Misinformation. Oh no. Misinformation? Like giving you wrong information. We're plagued by misinformation, but South Park nailed it on the head in this episode years ago. You see, the reasons our bodies fail is because of toxins. Getting your medical knowledge from People Magazine, from Misinformation, a new age shop, these things are totally unregulated. So medications in the United States are regulated, but herbs, supplements, these things are not regulated and you actually have no idea what is truly inside of them. Toxins? All the horrible food we eat, the sodas and meats are filled with toxins and the only way for us okay. to get better is to flush those toxins out of our system. Sure. Western medicine is so quick to cut and carve up. I think an easier way to stop getting the toxins in your system, allow your body to work, is to stop ingesting those toxins and our bodies are amazing and they want to be homeostatic and they will clear out things out of our bodies but typically your body clears out most of the things that are bad for us but all your son needs is a toxin flushing <sighs> diet of lemon juice and cayenne pepper wow that's amazing misinformation do you hear that kyle you don't need surgery this, after all <coughs> i've heard this before lemon juice cayenne pepper yeah try it first before you're having major surgeries if it works wonderful but obviously it might be the first step to try before having major operation but then there's also the placebo effect of positive mind thinking that if you believe something's gonna work, it will work. So if anybody's done cayenne pepper and lemon, let me know in the comments, all right? Going out and playing around with chicken pox almost killed you all. This uh, chicken pox parties occur. They don't really occur too much, but let's see what's going on with these kids. Stanley, how are you feeling today, son? Pretty good. The doctor says that maybe you could- Whoa. What's up with the parents? Hey, Stanley. Wow, cool. And how are you- They all have it around their mouths. Okay. I'm better now. <laughs> What's so funny, you two? <laughs> we gave you guys herpes. What, what, what? Uh, you did this? <laughs> we got you back for getting us sick. We had a prostitute use your toothbrushes and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that is funny and messed up. Chicken pox is actually a type of herpes virus as well. Chicken pox is called varicella. We give vaccines out for people who have herpes. You can use any antiviral medication to help reduce the shedding and to hurry up your symptoms. Hey, how come you don't have sores on your lips, ma? Oh, I have them somewhere else, poopykins. Oh, messed up. So messed up. Because you can share them. You can spread them. And now you're stuck with it for the rest of your life. Hey, I know one thing for sure. What's that, Eric? We're all gonna need a lot more calamine lotion. <laughs> <laughs> So calamine lotion is just a non-specific like anti-itch medication. It's pink and it dries on the tissue. I typically use it for like uh, poison ivy or poison oak, poison sumac, all that stuff. But you can use it for anything that itches. <laughs> and Kenny died. Oh my god! Every time. I killed Kenny. You bastard! 
thing. Chicken pox actually could cause complications that could cause long-term medical problems and or death. All right, I love South Park. It's weird, so I've actually seen South Park, but I actually don't ever remember seeing these medical like clips. Maybe it was because I, before I was in medicine that I saw the show, but now these are hilarious. I do want to watch more of these, but I also want to keep my reactions fresh. I'm going to keep doing more South Park videos just to keep you guys entertained. Do you have a favorite TV show or movie that features medical situations that you want me to break down further and explain? Let me know which show or episodes in the comments below, or if I missed any South Park scenes that I should check out for another video. As always, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more fun videos like this one, and check out my Doctor Reaction series right here to see all your favorite TV shows. Thank you so much for watching, and stay healthy, my friends.